Information system acquisition task involves the identification and analysis of alternative solutions, each of which are compared with the specifications of the new system. So when we acquire a new information system, there are some opportunities. Some of them, some or all of the system software that a business will use can be supplied for external suppliers. From external suppliers can be used as an alternative. Therefore, the need for an information system can be met by an in-house development, it's another alternative, or purchasing a commercial package or procuring a service or service purchasing a service. So this way, basically, these, these are the three ways the systems are acquired through. There are numerous information system development models to choose between when it comes to development. The conventional approach is the linear sequential model. If you look at the figure three in your textbook, it has a stepwise structure. Due to its look, this approach is sometimes called waterfall approach. Each model has its advantages and shortcomings. Therefore, for a successful implementation of an information system and a successful project management of an information system, it's important to choose the right uh, information system development model. Selecting one of these system development models should be based on some facts, such as cost and change requests. The existence of non-functional requirements and delivery time and the planned lifetime of the system. Computer-aided software engineering tools, case tools basically, help system developers complete complicated complex information systems at high quality, on scheduled time and on budget. By using case tools, the intended planned software development models can be controlled, scaled, and managed easily. Some of them are diagramming tools, computer display and reporting tools, quality management tools, and documentation tools. Process management tools are used to manage and document processes in the system development model. On the other hand, the project management tools support the project manager's activities to improve the information system with requirements within the time frame and budget as well as reporting support. Due to the demand for rapid and high quality software de development, the use of program compilers compilers has been replaced by application development environments. Sometimes we shorten them and say ADE. With these application development environments, programs can be developed simply and more efficiently. ADEs support system development by providing user interface design software, network connectivity and middleware software, testing tools among many others. As a result, we can go over the main teachings of this lecture. Information systems are complex systems. In order to overcome these complexities, IS information system building requires specific project management techniques and methodologies. System development lifecycle describes the steps of information system project. Using a system development model can be vital managerial asset during the project life cycle. Case tools can improve the efficiency of the development process model selected by the company. 
before we finish this presentation remember to read the chapter go over the summary and the questions and there are lots of resources in internet among uh, many others uh, uh, you you should refer to the internet for additional resources and it will be a good practice for you to write down the main teachings of this chapter you all have a nice day filled with education bye bye